Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just going to be unpacking my suitcase. I have been away just for over a week to the US with my husband. It's that time of year where he has a conference to attend in the US. And this year it was in Phoenix, Arizona. So I tagged along, but we made it really short. We're really only away for about seven days nine days because of the time lag when we come back however i have so much to show you i went shopping but we also visited a few places that we hadn't seen before in the us and i'm also as i'm unpacking going to be showing you how i pack my suitcase so that i can maximize the amount of space of shopping that i can bring back but also make sure that i pack the most in my suitcase so let's get started i have a lot to show you first of all I have a big suitcase. This one here is one that I bought from Target a number of years ago. It's an expandable one. So if I can only carry 23 kilos, then it can compact a little bit tighter than if I can carry 32 kilos, which was this holiday this time. So what I did was to maximize the amount of space that I have for shopping, I pack leanly. So I only pack half my suitcase with things that I could wear while I was there and the other half was left for the shopping, which as you can see, I have packed quite efficiently. So let me go through my packing organization with you. I don't subscribe to the various packing cubes. I don't find they're necessary for me. What I do is I roll up my clothes. That's tip number one. If you roll up your clothes rather than fold them like I have here, uh, you can actually pack more. But I also do a combination of those. So I roll up my clothes around items that are fragile that I've bought while I was overseas but I also roll them up to make the most of the space I have and then I lay different items of clothing flat on top folded neatly so I can compact all the luggage and make up all the extra wasted airspace that would be available in the suitcase if I hadn't done so. So this side of the suitcase I have left with all the items of clothing that I brought with me from Australia and that I wore, most of it is now dirty and worn. I won't go into detail of what I brought with me. I just basically brought all my toiletries, all of my supplements that I need to take, pajamas, you know, all the usual things that you would need to wear on a holiday. This particular holiday was in winter in the United States. So we were leaving Australia in summer and we were arriving there in the winter, which was quite cool in Arizona. Um, luckily I packed my puffer jacket because I actually thought when I looked at the weather forecast it's only going to be 24 or so degrees so I thought that might be quite mild and I didn't mean anything but just as well I brought my puffer jacket. Anyway enough about that let me tell you what I saw in the United States. As I said my husband had a conference to attend in Phoenix Arizona and if you recall last year around about this time the conference was actually held in Las Vegas and we extended it by a few days at the other end to travel to Williams in Arizona to go and have a look at the southern rim of the Grand Canyon. But we got caught in a snowstorm. I'll link some footage here or I'll actually link the video that I composed of that trip down in the description box below if you'd like to see it. We were caught in one of the biggest snowstorms that ever has happened in Arizona since 1940s apparently according to google when all the roads leading to williams arizona were closed down for the night so we were stranded in a little town called seligman in arizona beautiful picturesque little town i'll just set some footage here so you can see it it was absolutely picture perfect so this year, when the conference was held in Phoenix, Arizona, we decided to rebook that tour so that we could see it. And luckily, although that had a bit of snow dump the week before, and so there was still some snow on the roads for us to see in Williams, we were lucky enough to be able to drive our car without any problems and actually reach Williams, Arizona this time. So the trip started in LA. We flew Melbourne, LA direct and then drove that first night to San Bernardino, which is sort of heading towards Arizona. Along the way, we stopped off at a factory outlet called, and I've made notes so I don't forget, Outlets at Barstow. And I also did some shopping while my husband was in Phoenix for the conference. I also shopped at the outlets in Phoenix. And on the way back, we went via Desert Hills and I stopped off at the premium outlets there, Simon's premium outlets at Desert Hills. So those are three outlets that I hit. And this side of the suitcase is everything that I bought on this holiday. So let's start unpacking it. One of the first things that I always bring with me when I travel to the US is my US plug. 
air straightener. The electricity there are a different frequency to ours. So our heating tools, unless they're an international setup, don't work over there. So I just bought a cheap one there on one of my previous holidays. And so I always bring this with me. Now I went to TJ Maxx when I was in Arizona. And last time I went to one of these stores, I saw these cushions that I didn't buy because they were really bulky. And one of my viewers gave me a great idea to say, just remove the stuffing and bring the cases. So when I saw this gorgeous, huge cushion that I'm going to put on my front porch when I restyle it shortly, I immediately thought of that tip and I thought that is fabulous. So what I did, this cushion was really puffy and it has a central little zip here and it was chocker full. The cushion stuffing, I took all that out. It filled up a whole bag so big of stuffing. But it just means that I was able to bring this cushion back home to use without all the extra baggage and the extra space it would have taken up. So there's one tip when you're traveling overseas. If you do see something that you like as a cushion, take out the stuffing and bring it back and look how tiny that folded up into. You really couldn't even see it in my suitcase. It was that flat. So that's coming out. And that I bought from TJ Maxx. I went to Hobby Lobby and I saw these pretzels and I was psyched for anything new that I haven't tried before. So these are the Dots Homestyle Pretzels in Southwest Seasoned Seasoning. Um, yes, and I bought that to try with my children and my family here. These are a special family snack created many years ago by Dot herself in a home kitchen. Anyway, if you're watching me from the States, and you're a regular viewer, let me know whether you've tried these and what you think of them. I will let you know in an upcoming video what I think of them. I couldn't help myself. I had to buy a couple of beauty products and in order to make the most of my luggage space, I took them all out of their packaging and then wrapped them up in this satin head bonnet that I bought from Target. And so all my beauty products, so all the things that I bought are all in here. I will go through these. I also got some a Rock Derm Filler Firm Fill and Treat Serum. I thought this was really cute to have and I hadn't seen it here. So I stopped off at a dollar, dollar tree, dollar, dollar store that they have in America and they had the Glade copies or their Glade versions of room freshness. Now, fingers crossed they will fit my Glade. I think they do. They all have a, a universal plug usage. So there were a pack of three for $1.99, which were fabulous. So I bought a pack of three for $1.99, which ended up being just over $3. Um, and I think I bought vanilla and lavender, so that was a bargain. I got some moisturizing eye masks. Uh, my under eyes are a little bit dry, and I thought I would try these. These were cute. I bought some things on clearance. I can't help myself. I'm a sucker for clearance items. This is the Weekend Glow Brightener by Verse Skin. I'll try that and I'll let you know for my American viewers. My daughter asked for Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Spray, so I bought her that. She can't find it in Australia, apparently. And I stocked up on some e.l.f. products that I still can't find in Australia. We're supposed to have them, but for the life of me, every time I go somewhere, I can't find these items. So I stocked up on these. Nothing major, but just something cute to play with. I bought two lip glosses and lips, liquid lipsticks, a hydrating color shine, and the oils. These are the only colors that we could find, or that I could find. And they're just the, the coral color, very clear, very light. One liquid blush, and some color correcting under eye brightness. The Urban Skin Radiant and Bright Glowing Moisturizer Vitamin C and the Cetaphil Healthy Radiance Antioxidant Vitamin C Serum. And this was a gift from Sephora when I went to purchase the Tower 28 Facial Spray for my daughter. Apparently, I must have collected some points while I was there shopping last time for enough for me to be able to redeem the points. And they were giving away the Exfoliate Paula's Choice Skin Perfection 2% BHA Liquid Exfoliant. So I thought I'd give that a go. And along the customer checkout, they had this uh, two for one sample size lip liner and a lip gloss by Charlotte Tilbury. And I thought I would get that. So I got that too. That's it. I was very well restrained. I really didn't want to buy much, but those things were all things that we can't really buy here. So I thought I would help myself to some of those. And this bonnet I thought was really cute. It's elastic and it will hold my hair in place so it doesn't get frizzy while I sleep. That's it. That's all I bought in the beauty section. And then at the outlets, I stocked up on a few things. Let me show you what I bought. I live a very casual lifestyle. So 
normally during the day, I'm in tracksuit pants and a t-shirt, unless I'm dressing up to go somewhere. I stocked up on tracksuit pants, and these are the Tommy Hill figure tracksuit pants in a black. I also bought a lightweight in blue. Now these were in the 70% off markdown section of the store and on the day my husband had also received a 20% off voucher. So not only did we get 70% off the original price, we then got a further 20% off. So these were originally $79.50 US. These would have come just at around about $20 US, which would have been about $30 Australian, which I thought was a really good deal. So two tracksuits and a wind sheeter. The wind sheeter was originally priced at $89.50. Again, 70% and then a further 20% could not help myself, but it just felt so snugly warm. That was one shopping bit. This was bought at Outlets of Basto. This was bought at Outlets of Phoenix, and it was at the US Polo Assassin store. Again, a tracksuit top with little with closure, snap closures at the neck. Now, this is more a summer weight. It's not the woolly weight, so I can wear it, you know, summertime on those cooler days and also in autumn on those warmer days and the matching tracksuit which has the matching little snap closure at the ankles. I thought these were really cute and then I couldn't help myself but this top was literally $9.99 with a further 20% off so I just had to get it. It's a new neutral color that I'm just obviously living in. You can see it's the same color as my tracksuits and it's got the gorgeous detailing all around the neck and down the back which I thought was really pretty and it's also not very heavy so I can wear it this autumn leading into winter and then as you know Belts are all the rage this year, so I thought I would stock up at US Polo Assassin. They had a huge sale on them. I bought this gold, which has got this buckle. I bought a tan one, which has got the traditional buckle. Black one with the traditional buckle. And another black one with just a plain buckle. Now, all of those, I think, are about $12 each with the 20% and a further 20% off. So they were a real bargain. Whenever in America, I always look out for some sweets that I haven't seen in Australia that I think my children might like, or, you know, my adult children might like to try. And I bought the Nerds Gummy Clusters. I haven't tried these before, hadn't seen them. So I thought these would be cute to sample. I also shopped at American Eagle. I find American Eagle very affordable and super casual to wear. So I stopped off there and stocked up on a couple of casual clothes, t-shirts. You can never have too many white t-shirts and I like the cut of this. It's very much a boyfriend style, but it's very good quality. Burgundy, because I'm just into burgundy this summer, a t-shirt exactly the same as it's to match my new runners, my new balance that I bought just before I went away. And then a very lightweight long sleeve t-shirt. This is very similar to the cotton on lightweight fabric of the t-shirts that they have in the sleepwear. And then I liked these really cute, this is a very neutral color. It's very much a beige color with a hint of green to it, like an army green to it, but it's more on the beige side. It's got side pockets along the leg. It's a basically relaxed style cargo which I tried on and it just fits beautifully and it's just so comfortable and then along the back wall couldn't help myself they had this big huge slouchy jumper sweater that I just could not resist I this had come down to something like less than ten dollars US and it's a beautiful charcoal dark color that I think will go with anything this winter once we passed the factory outlets at Basto, I made some notes that I'd remember to tell you everything, we stopped off at Kingman in Arizona, which is the heartland of Route 66. And there we visited the historic Route 66 Museum. I'll show you some footage here as I'm telling you about it. And the Benelli House. This one here was built in 1915. The original house was built in 1894, but burnt down in 1915 and then was rebuilt. And it's absolutely, it's a beautiful example of the architecture of the era in Arizona, really beautiful and well made. Here's some more footage of Arizona along the way to Williams, Arizona. If you recall last year this time, we were trying to get to Williams, Arizona to do the historic Grand Canyon railway ride to the southern rim of the Grand Canyon and also the bus tour. Well, we got derailed by the snowstorms that we were subject to. And so we ended up staying in a little town called Seligman. Well, to get to Williams this time, it wasn't as picture perfect as last time with all the snow, but it was still pretty. My husband had met a person he gets talking to people and somehow he starts making conversation with them and they become best pals and at the time the gentleman that was that he spoke to 
told us that he'd been to Cairns, and so that's how they're connected. He'd been to Cairns and had actually worked as an, an artist for self, decorating surfboards in Cairns, and he'd been there for about six months. And so they bonded over that. And then the gentleman ended up getting Kevin, my husband, a, a number plate from California at the time and said, you know, when you get back home, send me a number plate to Australia where, you're, where you are. And so all the years gone past and my husband hadn't gone around to doing it, but we remembered on this trip to bring one with us. And so we had to go through Seligman, Arizona to stop by, say hi to him and give him the number plate. And he remembered my husband like that. They bonded for a little while and then we had to keep going on our way to Williams, Arizona. Williams is an absolutely beautiful little town. It's the last stop of Route 66 where the Interstate 40 bypassed the town. And so the little town is an absolute museum or a treasure trove to Route 66 memorabilia. So if you ever make it there, make sure you get onto the a railway line that takes you to the southern rim of the Grand Canyon. And it is an absolutely breathtakingly beautiful part of the Grand Canyon. It just makes you feel tiny like that when I mean, you're seeing all that beautiful grandeur that's Mother Nature that I hadn't seen quite like that before. So then on our way to Phoenix, Arizona, we went past Sedona. Oh my goodness, it is a breathtakingly beautiful town. It's an area of um, Arizona that's, if you watch the Cars movie, the cartoon with the Disney movie Cars, the area that that's displayed is Sedona with these beautiful stark mountain shapes, these crevices, these roads. Oh, I had never been anywhere like that. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll insert some footage here so you can see it and enjoy it for yourself. If you're ever in that side of the United States, you must stop here. It is absolutely beautiful. The closest thing I could compare it to is the Grampians in Victoria with that kind of rustic and rugged landscape and rockscape and mountains combined with the feel of bright the town in victoria that's in the mountains and it's just got that arty relaxed vibe with maybe a sprinkling of byron bay with that hippie culture so those three combined but obviously it's in the middle of the desert it's not anywhere near the beach but for australians that's the closest thing that you can imagine that I can compare it to. It is absolutely beautiful. And I just love the whole scenery, the whole drive. If only my husband would have just eased up on the accelerator. He was trying to go at the same speed as the Americans, but I was holding on to dear life, holding on to the side of the door while I was trying to film the footage for you. It is a beautiful part of the country. So then after Phoenix, Arizona, we ended up going back to LA to catch our flight. And along to that little town, we stopped off at Desert Hills, but I did a little bit of shopping again, and I bought a few other things. And let me show you what I bought. I stopped off at Carmen Klein at the outlets, and they had this beautiful jumper, again, in a neutral color. This is just the color that I've been living in, I think, this winter. It's a very heavyweight woolen jumper with a V-neck that I think I'm just going to love in. Just a t-shirt underneath and just tracksuits or leggings. It'll be perfect. I stocked up on some Calvin Klein's tracksuits. You can never have too many. These are just a wide-legged Calvin Klein tracksuit. Again, at the battery outlets, they have these at 70% off and it just seems so wrong to leave it behind. I bought it in that pale blue and also in this mustard color with just a simple CK branding. At Calvin Klein, I bought the full, I was able to get the full set of the tracksuit in the caramel color. This is the top with the back, with the back wing sleeves. And I also stopped off again at Tommy Hilfiger. You can never know what you can find. And I bought this striped shirt, just something simple that I can wear on top of jeans. This was under $10, under $10. And the original price for this was $74.50. So, I mean, the old me would have bought multiples of these, but the new me knows that she doesn't wear a lot of shirts. One will be plenty. And they were having a sale on underwear. So I stocked up on some sports bras, matching underwear, and I think that was it. And now another tip that I can give you when you're packing, I bought a new pair of shoes, by the way, at Nike. These were super comfortable when I tried them on. They're the Air, a brand of the Air Nike. They're super soft. They're like walking on clouds. 
And my foot, my toe doesn't rub here, which is a problem that I'm having lately with my big toe rubs on the side of the shoe and it just causes a little bit of discomfort. Anyway, one of the things that I also do when I'm packing from overseas is to insert my clothes inside my shoes. Now, these are brand new shoes, so they're not going to have a smell. And I just inserted all the new items that I bought. I bought some leggings from Gap. These are the long length leggings. I find these super comfortable. And I'm so sad that Gap is no longer available in Australia. It is so disappointing. And at Gap, I also bought a sports top with the inbuilt sports bra in there. That's it. That's everything that I've bought on this holiday and everything that we saw. Of course, there is so much more that I could add, but I think you'd fall asleep. One of those things when you come back from holidays, you just want to share everything that you've seen to all your family and friends. But after a few minutes of it, they'll go, yeah, okay, you enjoyed it. But I hope you enjoyed taking you along with me picked up some tips on how to pack smarter next time you're traveling overseas and spend some time chatting with me. Thank you for watching. I hope wherever you are, you're having a fabulous day. Until next time, my friends. Bye.